Hey kiddos, today we're gonna make a collage of a monster. So you're gonna need a pair of scissors and some markers. More specifically, you're gonna need one large piece of paper to protect your workstation, and another piece of paper to make your monster with some scissors to cut him out and some markers to color him in. All right, so we're gonna take our first piece of paper here and we're gonna fold it lengthwise. It's even better if your piece of paper is a little bit more cardboardy. So we're gonna fold nicely along the left-hand side, take our nail, slide it down to make the fold nice and tight. So we're gonna open up our fold and we're gonna take our scissors and just slice right down the middle, exactly where we folded our fold. Nice and precisely. Boom. So now we have two pieces of paper. So we're gonna take one of our halves and we're gonna fold it once again lengthwise and fold it on the left-hand side using our thumb. And again, we can use our nail. So here it gets a little bit trickier. We're gonna make a slight fold about an inch and a half down. So about half a, a length of a finger, of an adult finger. So we're gonna fold down here and we're gonna open it back up. We basically need this crease to appear because it's gonna help us make our monster's head a little bit later. So now that we have our crease on the upper hand side, we're gonna take a colored pencil and we're gonna start making the shape of our monster. So start about a centimeter right underneath the end and make the head. So right where you see the crease, you'll know that the head has finished. The body and a little foot. So you can make the foot look, you know, however scary you want it to look like. I feel like a the zigzaggy foot is pretty scary. Great, so we finished drawing our monster all around. Looks good. So now we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut them out. So starting at the top, left a little bit of room at the top and we're gonna cut out his zigzags. So nice little clean snips. Make sure your fingers are not too close to the scissors. As good of a scissor cutter as you might be, you never know. Okay, we're gonna cut right down along here into his body and follow the pencil as closely as we can. Looks good. Perfect, so now about most of the body is done. Put the scraps on the side. Okay, and let's cut out the feet. And using the same technique, you can do little zigzags with your scissors. So left, right, left, right, doesn't have to perfectly follow the pencil, but as best as you can. And there we go. Perfect. Pull out the little triangles there. And our monster has been cut out. So we're going to open him up. And as you can see, we have our little fold here, which is to help us make the shape of his head. And we're going to fold down his paws. Fold him one more time across all of the creases. Make the creases really nice and crisp on his feet as well. And we're gonna make sure that he can stand. So just keep folding until you can hold him up and he stands. Great. So once he's nice and standing up, we have to start decorating our monster. So in my dreams, monsters are always green. So I'm gonna make my monster green. You can use magic marker, you can use colored pencil, you can use paint. I personally like magic marker. But you gotta make sure they're almost brand new so you have enough ink. So I'm gonna use three different shades of green, light, medium, and dark. And I'm gonna use some black due to the outline of certain body parts and a little light blue. So make sure that the head is nice and folded because we're only gonna color the top part of the reverse fold of his head. So I'm gonna start with my light green. Put the cap on the bottom so I don't lose it. Okay. So here I'm gonna start coloring his body. So as you can see, the fold of his head stops right there. Great. So I don't have to, you know, I don't really have to color above that exact spot. There we go. I think it always looks nicer as well when you're always coloring in the, 
almost the same direction. There we go. I don't know if you guys saw Monsters, Inc., but so many different kinds of monsters. So many cute ones and really scary ones. Up, now we're gonna also differentiate the feet. So just draw a line right above the feet and you'll know that you can stop drawing right up at that point. So keep going. You guys are definitely getting some exercise here. We're doing a lot of coloring. And here you can start to make a little bit of a buffer right alongside where the feet are. See, so I'm coloring really nice and slowly right above the feet. So I make sure that, you know, this is how I essentially try and not draw over the line. You just gotta go really nice and slowly and draw a little bit at a time. If you start drawing too fast right by the feet, then that's when it becomes really easy to draw over the line. Great, so keep in going. Almost done with the left-hand side of his body. All right, switching sides here. This pen has a lot of ink, it's crazy. I think the monsters were green in my nightmares when I was a kid. I'm not sure. But I like this guy. It looks like he's, you know, he can hide out in the in the forest. He can hide out in your backyard. He blends right in. So again, I'm changing the direction that I that I color in on the bottom so it creates that buffer. So I don't get any pen accidentally where his feet are. Almost done, you guys. Tiny little triangle left. And perfect. Great. So we're folding over the head and it looks really nice and green. So here for the head, I'm going to use a different shade of green, just a hair darker. And I'm going to start coloring his head. So, you know, your monster can be multiple colors. He could have a blue head, he could have a red body, he could have a purple head and, you know, yellow feet. However you want your monster to look like. So I'm going to flip him over. And exactly where that crease is, you're going to follow the crease. And that's where you can stop drawing, basically. So keep coloring. So that crease is basically going to show you where the, where the coloring stops to show. Once his little head folds over, you don't really need to keep coloring. And definitely use your fingers to fold down your monster so it's easier for you to color. Great. So we're going to flip him over. And his head and body look nice and colored. So let's get down to his feet, which are going to match the color of his head. Look at it, this monster only has three toes. I know that I have five. Okay. Oh God, kids, we're almost done here. Woo! Okay, perfect. So now that our monster's all colored in, we can add in the detail. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a darker pen here and I'm gonna add some, some kind of facial expression. So here I'm just going to follow right alongside his, his zigzags and add some, some triangles, kind of like a tiger. So that's always a good technique is to kind of follow alongside how you guys decided to cut out your monster. I'm going to add another little triangle right here. So it's kind of like a little monster cheek pointing towards his face. Fill him in. It's always good if you, you know, if you draw the shape before and then you fill it and it makes it easier to draw within the lines. Make a little outline for yourself. Draw right in there. Perfect. Third triangle, draw right in there. 
and then his second cheek. Okay. So now it's time to maybe make some eyes. So one eye, you can just draw a little circle like that and his eyeballs. Whiskers. And our monster has a face. So now it's time to draw some arms where I'm gonna use my darker green pen. So we're gonna draw the outline of the arm and some fingers and then the rest of the outline. And then I'm gonna color in the arm. So since we're drawing green on green, you have to make sure that the, the color that you decide to choose for your arm is gonna definitely show up on the background of your monster. And then color in your arm. Right through the fingers. Looking good. So in order for those arms to really pop out, we're gonna use our black marker and you're just gonna use it to draw the outline of the green arm. So you see it really pops out that way. So just follow the dark green, finish it, and there you go. Fill in a little. So he's gonna have some scales as well. Maybe your monster is a little amphibious, maybe he can swim, maybe he can fly. And also adding a few nails here to my monster feet. So again, just drawing in my triangle and then I fill it in. That's how I stay really easily between the lines. And I'm gonna outline that, add a few scales on my feet. And here's our monster. Great job, you guys. So kiddos, here's our super scary monster collage, and I hope you had an amazing time making it. Feel free to send in your work to tutokid.com, and I hope to see you soon.